I want to talk about other forms of the cosine double angle identities. First, let's recall the Pythagorean identity and the two other forms of it. Cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1 can also be written cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta, or sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine squared theta. Now, the original cosine double angle formula is this, cosine of 2 theta equals cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. But I can use my Pythagorean identities to rewrite this. So another form would be cosine, oops, cosine 2 theta equals, and for cosine theta, I'll replace it with 1 minus sine squared theta minus sine theta, sine squared theta. And that's 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So that's a second form, cosine 2 theta equals 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. But we can also do cosine of 2 theta equals, and starting from here, I can replace sine squared with 1 minus cosine. So I get cosine squared theta minus 1 minus sine squared theta. And the minus distributes, I get minus 1, I'm sorry. This should be cosine. Here we go. The minus 1 distributes, we get minus 1 and minus minus plus cosine squared theta. So cosine squared theta minus 1 plus cosine squared theta is 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. They're very similar. Cosine 2 theta is 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. Cosine 2 theta equals 2 cosine squared minus 1. In order to remember which is which, remember the original cosine double angle formula. Cosine's the one that's positive, sine's the one that's negative. So in the other forms, sine's still negative, and cosine is still positive. 